briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1967, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Garrity v. New Jersey, which focused on the issue of whether statements obtained through pressure by forcing someone to choose between two harmful options could be used in court. The case centered around several police officers in New Jersey boroughs who were investigated for allegedly mishandling cases in their municipality. Despite being warned that their answers could be used against them in a criminal proceeding, the officers were informed they had the right to refuse to answer but would risk losing their jobs if they chose to do so. Some police officers provided answers during the investigation that were later used against them in a prosecution for conspiracy to obstruct traffic laws. The officers claimed their statements were given under coercion due to the potential risk of losing their jobs. The lower court focused on the volition of the officers' statements and dismissed the case without considering the validity of the state statute, instead treating the papers as a petition for certiorari. Upon appeal, the Supreme Court held that statements obtained under threat of removal from office couldn't be used in subsequent criminal proceedings and reversed the officers' convictions. The court determined that police officers, like teachers and lawyers, deserved full constitutional rights, and the 14th Amendment protected all individuals, including police officers, against coerced statements. The ruling clarified that subtle pressures can be just as coercive as overt ones, and that both mental and physical coercion can invalidate a person's statement in a legal proceeding. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.